Throughout time, mankind has made an effort to explore every inch of Earth's surface, but there are still some places out there where it's just not gonna happen. From the tallest unclimbed mountain to the deepest unexplored parts of the Amazon, here are 10 places on Earth no human has set foot on. Number 10, World's Largest Lava Lake. Located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the world's largest lava pit is certainly somewhere no one is going to set foot on. It's called Niragongo Volcano, and it's a stratovolcano that's either constantly pluming smoke or covered in hot lava. There are no reports of scientists making it into the crater of this volcano because it's extremely dangerous and it's not an easy trail. Large amounts of poisonous carbon dioxide gas is known to seep through, and it causes destruction quietly, being transported through the wind. The word mazuka is a Swahili word for evil wind, and many people are frightened by this. Lava lakes like we see here were building up right before the 2002 eruption, which completely transformed the landscape outside the city of Goma. The carbon dioxide gas was actually more devastating than the lava. Even though this thing is monitored by scientists 24-7, you better believe no one is getting too close to that thing. Number 9. Bottom of the Pit in the Haushka Castle You would imagine that someone has been to the bottom of this thing, right? But there are no videos or evidence to suggest that anyone's made it to the bottom. That's because, some believe, it's actually bottomless. Located about 30 miles north of Prague, the Hauschka Castle was built around 1270 AD by a Bohemian king named Ottokar II. And some claim it was built over a pit of hell. Strangely enough, it's unique in the fact that it was designed to keep things inside and not for keeping things out. Still to this day, no one knows exactly how deep the pit truly is. One popular story about this place goes that the king was willing to pardon a criminal for his crimes, but only if he agreed to be lowered into the pit. After going down there, he was pulled back up after he started screaming, and his hair was gray. Legends say he had aged 30 years. What truly lies down there still remains a mystery. Number 8. Gangkar Punsam Summit First, let's go ahead and spell that one for you. This mountain here in Bhutan is the tallest unclimbed mountain in the world, and it's doubtful you'll ever make it to the top either. It's also the tallest mountain in the landlocked Himalayan country of Bhutan, and it's been open to climb before in the past, from 1983 to 1994. During that time when it was open, no one had ever made it to the top. There were only four attempts, but they all failed. Bhutan has since banned any climbing of this mountain due to spiritual beliefs on climbing mountains over 20,000 feet. This mountain right here, elevation, 24,834 feet. So basically, it's off limits even to Buddhists. Although taller mountains such as Mount Everest have been conquered in the past, this one still poses unique challenges that no one has quite figured out yet. Some hikers came to this region and their problem was they couldn't even find the mountain. Not only is it extremely cold here, the steep cliffs, avalanches, and elevation make it even tougher. Number 7. The Underground River, Philippines Also known as Puerto Princesa Subterranean River, this strange body of water is located on a protected area within the borders of the national park, and it's pretty creepy. This recently discovered river was found in 2010, and many are calling it a natural wonder of the world. There are many parts of this underground cave complex that have yet to be discovered. The lack of oxygen makes it somewhat difficult to explore, but those who have been through this cave will tell you there's waterfalls deep within. But who knows what they'll find if they keep going. Oh yeah, and don't be afraid to come across some bats. No one seems to know just how big this dark cave is and how many more times the river breaks up. But if you get creeped out by spooky underground rivers like this one, it's probably best you don't find out. Number 6. Challenger Deep it wouldn't be too surprising to discover some new things below the sea, especially since more than two-thirds of the world is covered in water. To be more precise, about 71% of Earth's surface is covered in water, so it should come as no surprise that there will be some underwater creepy places that no one has set foot on. The Mariana Trenches are the deepest part in all of our oceans, and the depths reach 11 kilometers or 6.83 miles. Challenger Deep is the deepest part of the Mariana Trenches, making it the closest pit to hell. What kind of strange creatures could be lurking here? Only three people have actually made it all the way down, and no one else has really felt the need to come back. But the truth is, they would never be able to survive the pressure from the water above if they tried to walk on the bottom, no matter how strong the suit is. There's also hydrothermal vents, giant toxic amoebas the size of puppy dogs like we see in this photo, liquid sulfur, and probably much, much more. 
Number 5. Litla de Moon This small island found in the Faroe Islands is impossible to inhabit due to various reasons. Living in the Faroe Islands is already difficult enough, but when the island is shaped like this, it poses some problems. We're pretty sure that no one has been able to step foot on this island because they would most likely slide right off the side of it. First of all, getting to the shore is impossible by boat due to the steep cliff sides. In all of history, this island has never been inhabited by humans, but somehow sheep are able to live here, as well as many species of birds. Sometimes in winter, it can just look like an entire iceberg. Mythological stories tell the tale that it was the site of an epic battle that took place. In the 1850s, the Danish king attempted to sell the island to the highest bidder. Finally, it sold to a couple suckers who found out the hard way that the island was way too steep to build anything on. Number 4. Remote Regions of Siberia Siberia accounts for 77% of Russia's landmass, but only 27% of its population. Let's go ahead and put that into perspective. California has about the same population as Siberia, but Siberia is actually 31 times larger than the state, taking up 5.1 million square miles. There have to be a few places here where no man has ever set foot. Most people who did come here were often sent against their will into gulag camps. The population density of this massive chunk of land is about three inhabitants per square kilometer, making it the most sparsely populated region in the world, and for good reason. If you dare to venture off into the far east of Russia, you'll come across some of the most brutal conditions on the face of the planet. And how cold does it actually get here, you might be asking? In one case, temperatures reach negative 89 degrees Fahrenheit in a remote village in eastern Siberia. The Siberian winter is no joke, folks, and it has the power to turn you into a popsicle in a matter of hours. You certainly do not want to end up in a work camp here. The green forest might seem somewhat inviting, but you can safely bet your money they will be completely covered in snow by the time October arrives. Number 3. Under the Ice Speaking of cold places, Antarctica is the coldest continent on Earth, with the most extreme temperatures being found right here. Although there are drier areas of this continent, such as the McMurdo Dry Valley, it's pretty much impossible to actually set foot on the soil of this continent. 90% of the continent is totally engulfed with frozen H2O. The thickest ice sheet can be a mile thick in some places, and some believe that anywhere from 60 to 90% of Earth's fresh water is frozen right here. We may never know what exactly lurks beneath the ice, but scientists were able to drill to the bottom of Lake Vostok. But you better believe no one actually set foot at the bottom. Just recently, a massive heat source was found underneath the Antarctic ice, proving how volcanic Antarctica truly is. Scientists believe that from 50 to 110 million years ago, there was actually no ice on Antarctica. This would allow time for dinosaurs to roam around here, but not humans. What kind of fossils could be found underneath all this ice? If the heat from the volcanoes below continue to rise, some of the ice might melt and expose some of Antarctica's secrets. Number 2. The Deepest Depths of the Amazon People often vastly underestimate the size of the Amazon rainforest, which is actually about 3.1 million square miles. Even though there is some deforestation going on here, the truth of the matter is, it's pretty damn big. This certainly isn't the most hospitable land for people who are trying to explore, and parts of it are probably so dense that no person will ever step foot there. Those trees could be over 100 feet tall, with each one containing its own ecosystem, possibly some bugs or some animals no one has ever seen before. It's basically an impenetrable green inferno full of vegetation, insects, bloodthirsty piranha, swamps, and it rains here all the time. Many random indigenous people who've managed to survive the strange elements here have only been contacted by loggers who dug a little bit too deep into the jungle. It's believed there still could be at least a hundred isolated groups. Who knows what kind of treasures or bizarre animals they might find if they keep exploring. And number one, the center of the earth. With all of our advanced technology, we still haven't been able to drill any deeper than a few miles into Earth's crust without experiencing some serious problems. It's possible that we'll never have the ability to dig past the crust of the Earth due to the extreme heat and toxic gases that would fill the tunnel. The Russians started a project known as the Kola Super Deep Borehole, which allowed them to reach 40,502 feet which is only about 7.6 miles. This barely scratches the Earth's crust. Typically, the Earth's crust is anywhere from 20 to 30 miles deep before the next layer of Earth is exposed, which is the mantle. Many scientists have pondered the expensive possibility of drilling into the mantle, but this would cost about $1 billion, and the hole wouldn't be thick enough for a human to go down there. During the Kola Super Deep project, much of the equipment became faulty, and it couldn't withstand the temperatures over 570 degrees Fahrenheit. Who knows what they could have found down there? Some claim the Earth might actually be hollow, and some type of mole people are actually living below our feet. 